Well, hello everyone. The Lock Doctor, Locksmith Eddie, coming back to you live today. And boy, we got another special treat. We have a couple of more multi-lock rim cylinders. Now, these are multi-lock rim cylinders, high security cylinders. They're the um, interactive cylinders. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these. We're going to this pull one apart and show you exactly what it is. Uh, basically, a rim cylinder is just exactly what you're seeing. It has a tailpiece that comes out, which will attach to a panic bar or some other type of uh, exit device on the inside. And uh, this is the outside here. And uh, the key goes in, and when it turns, and this one's not turning, it turns very uh, sporadically, I should say. And uh, these are the two screws. This plate goes on the inside. The two screws go inside uh, the lock and holds it in place. This would be the outside. And then you use the key to turn it to retract whatever latch is on the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this apart uh, and take show you exactly what it's all about. These are the two screws. The outside that removes that and the inner plate. This is the trim ring that actually goes around it through the hole there in the front. We're actually going to pull the key out right now. And on the back, there's two uh, screws. These are machine screws. And uh, some of them just have a C-clip on there. Other ones have a, uh, like this one here, more of a high security lock. It would have the screws that hold it in place. And we'll go ahead and pull that apart. You can see, just set that aside. And now we have a ring. You see this ring? This ring actually comes apart. That's actually a spacing ring that screws on that holds it in place. So now here we go. There you have the cylinder right here. Uh, let's talk about this cylinder right here. You can see a hardened steel pin. This steel pin keeps it from being drilled uh, from the uh, out, from the uh, inside. You can see this. There's a hardened steel pin there. Uh, drill resist. You wouldn't be able to drill through that. So let's go ahead. Fortunately, we have a key. If we didn't have a key, the only other way we'd have to slide this uh, top cap off. This cap actually holds the springs and the top pins in this interactive. Now, what makes this an interactive uh, key, we'll actually show you the key real quick. You can see that it is a double drilled key, which means there's an outer pin and then an inner pin uh, with each spin. Normally, it's just a single pin that goes in a lock, but this one is called interactive, that the outer pin and the inner pin work together in order to uh, hit the shear pin in order to unlock that key. A uh, machine like that to drill, that, uh, to buy a machine, I saw one used for about 3500 probably new to about close to $9,000 uh, for this type of machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to see about getting this uh, follower to go in there. We're going to have to get this thing turned as we just did. And then now we have to be careful because these uh, the interactive cylinder, when you turn it, because of these grooves here in the back, you don't want the top the top uh, pin to drop down into that when you're sliding it out, you're going to have a real problem. So we're going to just try to get it to a position that we can turn it and not have the pins. We'll actually do it like that. We're going to flip it all the way around, and uh, we have a flat spot here that's going to ride here. So when we go ahead and slide this through there, it should be able to go right through. We're going to make sure that it doesn't turn so that we don't get the pins dropping into that groove. Then we're going to have a real problem. So we'll kind of keep it turned just a little bit. And we're going to just follow this right through here as such. Now, you're going to hold your fingers all the way around that cylinder. All right. You're going to hold it all the way around because, as you can see, here's all the pins here that are coming out. This is it right here. There's the pins right there. Matter of fact, we just lost uh, two of them, so we're going to put those right back in there. And I'm glad they did come out so you can actually see how these cylinders, how uh, they actually work. Now, there's two sets of pins on here. Uh, as a matter of fact, this has got to be changed out. There's probably, all right, you see this? These are the sidebar. These are the pins on the side of the lock that would actually be master pins uh, that would go in that lock. And this is the actual pins right here. The lock, uh, normally a, a lock uh, key is hor uh, vertical. This one is sitting on a horizontal plane. So as you can see, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and take this pin out of here and show you exactly what these pins do. Um, this one's actually turned the wrong way. 
we're actually going to get this right here like that. There, that's more like it. Now, here's the pin. This is the bottom of the pin. This is what goes up against the key. Now, this other center pin, as the key is drilled for the outer, and then there's got a peak on the center of that that runs, that rides on this pin here. So you can see if it's not just on, if it's not exactly drilled for the upper and the lower pin, then you're gonna have a problem. You see how that pin stays up just like that. So uh, we're gonna put this back in there with the pin actually, and now you can see how everything together is flush and that's what operates the key to turn so what we're going to do is we're going to clean this cylinder up uh, we actually ordered brand new cylinders uh, we're going to have to replace those but we're going to clean these up so they can use them for uh, emergency spares as you will we're actually going to look in here and uh, see the pins in here as a matter of fact i don't know if you can see that down in there i don't want to get this flipped over but uh, the top pin is in there we're actually going to look at the back side. We're actually going to look at all the pins to make sure that the uh, springs inside the top chamber aren't compressed to the point where they're not working. This one here, as a matter of fact, we're going to, we're going to get ourselves a uh, pair of tweezers to take the top pins out so that we can check the uh, spring and the pins up there so that this thing will operate a little smoother and that we'll have to find here in our little toolbox uh, where did we have that and that would be right here so we're going to go ahead we're going to pull a few of the pins out on top we're going to check them to make sure now we got to be careful that they don't fly out of there because if they fly out you're going to have a real problem not only trying to find here it is this is a top pin here of a multi-lock there it is right there it's spring loaded you can see the spring loaded action right there this pin actually is in good shape on this particular one obviously we have one that is sticking inside there causing the key to jam up so there it is you can see that this just is uh spring loaded it's working okay so that particular one is in good shape now you want to make sure when you're taking this apart you're going to be putting it back the same way it goes back together. So we'll go ahead and pull that spring out. That would be the back, the last one. Uh, looking at the chamber, this would be the first, this would be the last. We're gonna go ahead and check the next one over. We'll go ahead and pull that out. You can see that there's a pin right there. We're gonna go ahead and pull the spring out of that one. Just like that. And it's always good to put it on some type of a rag so that the uh, uh, if you leave it on a metal, it's just going to roll over and you're going to have a real big mess. So you don't want to have that happen to you uh, as you're working on these, especially this type of lock. Here it is, this one here. You can see the corrosion around this lock pin right here. We got a lot of corrosion right here, so we're going to have to clean that up in order to get this to work nice and smooth. I can see the spring in there is it still in good shape. So we have that. We'll actually turn this around so that we can look at this one. This would actually be the first pin now. And we'll take a look at this first one. As you can see, we still have some corrosion on here. We're gonna have to clean that. So that one's gonna have to go there. The spring looks okay on that chamber. Phone just keeps ringing. Hello? You know, we're getting so many robocalls down here, it's it's totally a shame to see what the hell is going on here as far as that's concerned. Alright, getting back to our lock here. Here we go, here's the second pin. That one, again, still got some spring to it. Pin doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna actually spread this out a little farther. Put that over here, put this one over here. And we'll go ahead and pull this spring out. That one will go here. That's gonna go there. And then we have the last one, the last pin, uh, which is already out. So we got an empty shell right now. 
we're going to clean that shell up in there. There it is, right there's the, the housing. As you can see, the pins here. There now, here. Let's take a look at this uh, multi-lock. You can see this right here. There's three hardened steel pins pounded in here to keep it from being drilled, and that would be a comment of a high security lock, Medico, Asa Abloy, stuff like that. Uh, they they put hardened steel pins here so that you just can't drill. Uh, the shear line and turn the lock so you're gonna have a hard time trying to drill through those pins as well so there you go we got it all apart uh, we're gonna go ahead and peel these cylinder these pins apart we're gonna clean them all up this is going to get all cleaned with some uh, fine fine steel wool to, and then uh, polished up and then cleaned with some uh, degreaser and stuff like that to get this back up in action all right pick up the phone five six one six nine three eight six three six comedy alive right here in sunny South Florida, the Lock Doctor, Locksmith Eddie.